Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So again, this has been highly requested for how to do this tortoise shell French look that I did on one of my clients way before lockdown. So um, I'll be using all Magpie products and I'll actually be using the Magpie inkies today. So if you want to find out how I created this, then just stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is done two coats of Good Golly Miss Molly, which is a sort of peachy um, sheer colour. And obviously I fully cured both of those layers. So I'm now going to wipe the nail with my prep and dehydrate to completely dehydrate the nail and make it matte. So once that's been wiped, I'm then going to grab Magpie's Piccalilli, which is going to be the base for our French colour. So I'm just going to use the, the brush in the bottle for this. So obviously this is quite a large um nail your clients probably won't have nails this long but So, and I'm just going to use the Magpie angled one stroke brush in four. And I'm just going to use it without any product on it. And I just basically want to use this to um, clean up my French. like that obviously turning it around so that we can see it from that point of view as well and it all looks okay so just wiping off my angled brush onto something dry as well i'm not getting any liquid um, onto that brush so now i'm gonna fully cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds and whilst that's curing, I'm going to get my give me strength and I'm going to put three kind of sections down. And I'm going to get the yellow inky and pop this into one of the sections and use my dotting tool just to mix that colour up. This creates kind of that glass effect colour that's really sheer that we want. Then I'm going to get the inky in rust and put that into this dollop here. And then finally, I'm just going to grab the black inky and put it into the last dollop and mix that up. Just going to add a little bit more. Now that our, our nail has been fully cured, I'm going to wipe off the inhibition layer again. 
it's just to make sure that we don't get any kind of bleeding or spreading or anything that I don't want. And I'm going to use my angled one stroke brush again. So I'm going to start with the rust colour first that we mixed and I'm just going to pop that over the yellow. Trying to make sure that I'm not going over that um, yellow that we did. Obviously going to cap the free edge. Doesn't matter as well if it's kind of all like spotty and stuff like this. That's absolutely fine. That's kind of an effect that we want. So I need to fully cure this in my lamp. Also onto my palette, I'm going to pop Maggie May. Which is a nice kind of chocolate brown. And Black Betty, which is obviously black. Now that that's been fully cured, I'm going to grab my black mixture and just pop that over the top. Again, making sure I'm not going over our French line, but it doesn't have to be too neat otherwise. And obviously going to fully cure that. And then I'm going to add that yellow mixture on the top. I'm not going to put this all over because it, it's still quite yellow at the moment so I only want to apply a little bit of it but I'm then going to apply a little bit more of that orange tone whilst that one is still uncured just kind of over the top randomly with the remaining kind of mixture so you can see that some of the orange is coming through like that. So our base is looking pretty good at the minute. Um, I might also just add a little bit more of the black into some spots as well. Whilst it's all still wet, by the way, so it kind of does this nice like marbling effect, you see, like that. And then I'm gonna fully cure that in my lamp. So now that that's been fully cured, I'm gonna grab my dotting tool so now that that's been fully cured, I'm going to grab my dotting tool and I'm just going to start by picking up some of the brown, so the Maggie May, and I just want to essentially add some sections with um, the Maggie May. You don't want to do too many, especially on a French. Obviously, if it was a full nail, you could go a bit more crazy, but obviously this isn't, um, it's quite a small section that we're doing. So then on the smaller end of the dotting tool, I've got the Black Betty, and I just want to add that to kind of the top section of where I've applied that brown. And I want to do a, a bit up there too. But as the Give Me Strength has still got the tacky layer, it's really kind of helping to kind of water it down slightly. So just moving that Maggie May around a little bit so that it's not um, completely kind of covering everything. And I'm gonna fully cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. So I basically just want to add kind of more of a glassy effect. So I'm gonna start with the orangey rusty color, just sort of applying that all over then I'm gonna grab the black mixture and just apply in sort of random spots especially up here essentially where I've not got any of that um, Maggie May, etc. And then I'm just using my angle brush to kind of move it around. And then I just want to go in with my yellow to really help kind of marble anything together that I need to. Maybe 
the at the top there like that so then I just want to clean off my angled brush and I just want to do that to clean up again just to make sure that our French line our smile line is just looking really nice and uh, So obviously if you clean off a bit too much you can just use your mixtures again just to add that little bit of colour etc back and I think that's looking pretty good. So then obviously now I'm going to fully cure this in my lamp again. So and with my Give Me Strength I essentially just want to smooth everything out and um, build an apex if needed on the client's nail etc obviously it depends what you've already done but if you've got a little bit like me where there's like a little step between your smile line and the rest of your nail this is a good opportunity to fix it just with the give me strength it just kind of smooths everything out so that it's not too lumpy or too thick etc and obviously fully curing in my lamp. So I'm just going to do a layer of the Don't Be Tacky and capping the free edge and curing for 60 seconds. And here you have the finished result. A really nice tortoiseshell French. So I hope that you liked this video tutorial guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon, bye!